Uh, let's take you out live to the Shriners Children's Camp in Portland. At the start of the show at 4.30, we couldn't even see the city of Portland because of those low-hanging clouds, that marine layer that surged in overnight. But uh, the clouds have lifted a little bit, so we have a little bit better visibility from our Shriners Children's Camp in the West Hills. It's 48 degrees right now in Portland. Temperatures are, for the most part, starting off in the 40s west of the Cascades, where all of us are dealing with cloudy skies. Uh, you have to head through the gorge or off to the east of the Cascades to actually see uh, some clear sky, but you won't really notice that until we hit sunrise or so. 36 right now at Government Camp, 50 in Hood River. It's 42 at the Sunset Rest Area heading over the Coast Range and 49 in Pacific City. Taking out to the coast, it is cloudy out there, but I was checking out the docks from this point of view from our Discover Newport camera, and it doesn't look all that wet out there in Newport. So there may be some patchy drizzle, but it doesn't look like it's much of a factor uh, this morning. I would be prepared for waves of drizzle at times, though, up and down the coastline. And then between the mid-afternoon and evening, uh, some uh, actual showers are going to be pushing on shore linked to a disturbance developing over the Pacific. Temperatures are going to rise into the low to mid-50s, and we should also rise into the 50s in our western valleys. But that marine layer is going to be overhead throughout the day, so we're going to be socked in by clouds. And then again, late in the day, we'll probably see some showers move in from the coastline. The gorge will deal with a few showers on the west end. The east end is going to see a pretty sunny day, so it'll definitely be warmer out toward the Dalles versus Multnomah Falls. The Mount Hood area will deal with drizzly conditions in the foothills, a few late day showers, which could fall in the form of snow uh, near and above the passes, uh, considering the snow level will dip down to about 4,000 feet late in the day. Central and eastern Oregon, most of the day will be sunny. Highs will climb into the mid to upper 60s, but late in the day, I can't rule out some isolated thunderstorms in the eastern half of the state. Our seven-day forecast for the metro area shows a few showers coming through Thursday, but plenty of dry time. I think our wettest weather will come through late Friday, heading into Saturday, and temperatures are going to dip into the low to mid-50s this weekend. Could be even cooler Monday and Tuesday as another weather system moves in from the Pacific. Tony? So